All right. Um, so, uh, we got season two, episode six of An Idiot Abroad. Okay. Okay. Season two, episode six. Yes. Yes. The last episode was epic. The gorillas. Yeah. Meet a gorilla. Exactly. <laughs> it's dangerous. You're risking your life from gorillas. <laughs> really, man. Truly, really, man. That's why it's on the bucket list, you know. Not on my bucket list. No. <laughs> no. Well, all right. What we got, man? Where's he going this time? This is Route 66. Ah, okay. He's in the States. Yes, he is. On one of the yes, oldest highways in the States, in the yes. U.S. Yes, yes, yes. I believe it stretches. I can't remember how many miles, but it's, you know, it runs through Texas all the way, I think, to California, something like that. Yeah, I think it goes, like, across, all the way across the U.S. Man. Okay. Well, it's just a long trip, man, and I heard a lot of things go on on Route 66, or a lot of stories. Really? Yeah, man, there's, like, alien abductions, there's, like, like, something <laughs> like the Bermuda Triangle, people go missing. Bermuda Triangle, okay. You know? Yeah, <laughs> crazy like people. That, You're you talking about crazy people. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. A lot of strange things. But let's see if uh, Carl uh, makes it down uh, Route 66. He's supposed to take the whole highway? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's see, man. All right. Here we go. The Bucket List. See the glaciers before they melt. Go on an African safari. Encounter the world's largest mammal. The ultimate things to do before you die. Or are they? If I was on my deathbed, there's no way I'd want to be climbing Kilimanjaro. It's not things Me to either, do Carl. a few <laughs> minutes before you die. It's things to do in your life. Easy, boys. Easy, boys. It's difficult. He was so suspicious exactly. after the last time. Uh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> We've told him that he gets to choose from the list happen. whatever he wants to do. He's like Romeo and Juliet. But that doesn't mean <laughs> that there won't be a few treats in store that he's not expecting. This is a man who's reluctant. This is a man who doesn't want to do these things. Uh, no. Let it happen. No. It's making Carl do things that other people no. want to do before they die. No. Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> this isn't his list. <laughs> this is probably the happiest, happiest we've seen Carl. The happiest we've seen Carl's when he was in a dress. <laughs> Route 66 I've heard of. Mm-hmm. It's all right. Travelling along Route 66. What is it? Just driving down it? Having a look. Well, it's just, it's a, it's a long one. It's um, two and a half thousand miles. One of America's sort of first highways. You see, uh, the thing that worries me is, is it, is it America who's made this seem like it's a good thing to do? What do you because mean? Because well, I just think they're more excitable. When I was in Disneyland, I went some, past some fruit on a boat. Three old women getting excited about an eggplant. Woo! Whooping. <laughs> now I sort of think, am I miserable? You've got a question? Yes. Uh, I've got an answer. Yeah, you're fucking miserable. <laughs> no, but I think I get I get excited at things you should get excited yeah. about. Okay, what was the last thing you got excited about? <laughs> smile, smile, just smile, just fake it. No, it's fake. Do a smile. <laughs> See, you don't know what you, you don't know what that feels like. Yeah, that's smile. odd to you. No, let's show your teeth. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that looks weird. Doesn't really it? weird. I've never that seen looks, it before. That looks weird. It looks weird. <laughs> so Route 66. You must have heard of that. Yeah, a cow without a roof on it. Right. Driving along. Yeah. Sun sort of there. Shades. Right, there you go. Get your kicks on Route 66. Off you go. What's he gonna do on Route 66? It's just a road. Mm. It's just a road. They should put him in like a <laughs> car. It's a road with cars on. Like they should make him ride. Like any other road. I don't, I don't think Americans come over here and go, well, oh, where's the M1? I can't wait to get on the M1. Is it the first road over there? The first proper road? First one across America. Everyone thinks the, the M1 one? is our first motorway, but it isn't. M6. Preston Bypass, that's the first motorway in M6. the UK. But no one, you don't hear people going on about it. They don't get excited going on the M6 <laughs> tomorrow, are you? Lucky bastard. It doesn't happen. I'm not, exci I'm not excited about Route 66. He's right, it's just a road. I know it's the first road, though. Yeah. Where is this? Oh, he's in Cali? Santa Monica. Right, That's... well, this is it then, isn't it? I'm in uh, California. 
Nice, isn't it? 1040. This bit here, the pier, is uh, that's the start of Route 66, and then I think it goes wow. that way for miles. Damn. It's all right beach, though, isn't it? This is me, this. Loads of room. Not as clean as I thought it would be. There's pigeons knocking about, <laughs> which you don't see on Baywatch. <laughs> all right, mate. Thank you, Rob, safely. I know you wanted a nice little convertible, so I've sorted one out. Just head over to your hotel, and the keys are on reception. All right? Have a good drive. Yeah, come right OK. See, that'd be good if I get, like, a Hummer or uh, <laughs> any of these, if it's got air con. Can't argue, can I? <laughs> I asked for a convertible. <laughs> it's not what I had pictured. Perhaps I think I've seen babies in prams bigger than this. <laughs> Smart car. Ain't got no protection. <laughs> Maybe dangerous, but like go kart. Why do people say you want to do the Route 66 thing? Am I meant to enjoy it now whilst I'm doing it, or is it something you appreciate after? Do you know what I mean? Like a lot of things in life. I, know I mean, in a way, even though I'm, I'm sort of eager to have fruit yeah. and I'd love to have an orange, <laughs> I never really enjoy the orange. I'm always happy to get to the end when you can wash your hands. I get sick of it running down your arm. I, I, I tend to eat them in the bath. Hi, right, boy. I thought I'd arrange a little break from the road. I know you are uh, into your, your body popping and, you know, singing and a little donkey and that when you were younger. So I thought you'd fit right in with the latest thing in a dance craze in America at the moment. Um, it's called Glee. <laughs> All right, boys, see you later. What the hell? I'm shattered, do you know what I mean? And now I've got to turn into that car. Uh, just like that. Ha! Huh. Ha! Huh. That's it, that's it! Good, 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 good. OK, do go. Go like this. Hey! Hey! Yes, and I see you're using your diaphragm. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Carl. I think you can sing. Ah. That's so good. <laughs> Done. Get the dancers in. No, I'm gone. No, no, wait, uh, wait. wait. <laughs> Don't bring the uh, singing dancers wait. in yet. Honestly, I'd need to. Okay, know okay. It's just that you know, like in two hours or so, you're going to be performing it. Um, you just want to do the dancing. Oh, well, it damn. Makes sense if I just do the dancing because that's what the crowd uh. can see. The singing, they're not going to be hearing my voice. Carl, your facial expressions, and remember, smile. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. <laughs> is it? It's not fun for everyone, well, is but it? Is you are you having ah. fun? No, not really, no. No, I'm not. <laughs> but is it just an American thing? Do they have no. fun better than us? <laughs> the word fun and all is it? fun. No, I'm <laughs> fun. No, I'd rather not, actually. I don't want fun. Ah, okay. It's a word I just don't use. And she goes over. It's not my sort of thing <laughs> of singing and dancing. We've got enough singers and dancers anyway in the country. Why uh, we still have Pop Idol and X Factor? Everyone's play. singing. I mean, this is a school. Look at them. They're not doing English and maths. <laughs> Where's the doctors? The plumbers? <laughs> okay. When I had a problem with my boiler, I had to wait two weeks because no plumbers are out. They need someone to come around and sing and dance, loads of them. But we've got enough. Oh, this is how we do it. <laughs> Carl's about to sing. <laughs> ah, he said, where's the plumbers? <laughs> the doctor. I haven't got a taste for it, honestly. This isn't like a big life-changing moment. Oh, Carl's finally found his destiny. No. I, I, I don't want to do this. This is going to hurt. He's got a rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> He's over there. <laughs> oh, God. He 
don't know what he... <laughs> I've never been that embarrassed. Do you know how I always say to you that you give me anxiety dreams? I panic ah. and stuff because of the things you set up. And that time when I had a dream about being in a toilet and you opened the door and every, there was a big audience looking at me having a shit. It was exactly the same feeling I had in my dream as that. I just wanted to wake up and for it to go away. It was shocking. And the weird thing about that dream, it's not mm. particularly sort of Freudian or <laughs> symbolic, right, <laughs> as an anxiety dream, because I often open the door when you're having a shit to a yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, quite, it's quite a justified that's, dream. That's normal. Have a great time, man. I'll see you soon. All right. Carl, what was he? That was not Carl. No. <laughs> yes. You just gotta stretch your legs when you've been sat in a car all day. He's had it ruined. Oh, this. He ruined it. Okay. What the hell? Hello? Oh, these bottles. The oddities. Hello? What is this? Hello? Like a serial killer's place. American Pickers. Jesus. What's it all about? What is it? Is it one man who's done this, or is it, is it the touristy thing and you're meant to bring a bottle and stick one on when you're here? I think it's just one guy's house. He's got a serious drink problem, whoever it is, hasn't he? I mean, to be honest, it's scary that he's not in, because where is he? What is he doing? What is he do what, what, what is his life like? Yeah, what does he do? Who is this? I don't know what I'm meant to get from it. I don't know if it's proving a point or if he's just a scruffy bastard. <laughs> See, this is what they mean, isn't it, about it's not worth doing recycling back in Britain. Because there's me with my Marmite jar and my milk bottle and what have you. But if he's doing this, what's the point? <laughs> I just Damn. always think about when it's time to move and you've got to sell your place. Mm. His, his target sort of market, there's not many people who would want this in the front garden. No one's going to turn up and go, do you know what? This is what I've been looking for. Two bedrooms, we're after that. Load of shit in the garden. <laughs> they didn't even meet him? <laughs> Who was it? Whose place was it? I would not be driving there. Little bitty car. Like a toy car. I got a text from Steve and he says this part of Route 66 goes through like the the old hippie area. What? So he just wants me to stop off and meet Valerie. Area? She's into new age healing therapy. Uh, Enjoy. Healing Was that just shouting my name? Hello? Carl. Hello? Hello? Valerie. Hello. I'm Carl. Carl. Nice to meet nice you. To see you. Did you just shout my name? No, she may have. That's <laughs> Kiwi. It's not doing it now. So you're a shaker? I'm a what? You're a shaker? Are you a hugger? Uh. You want a hug? No, this is all right. This <laughs> is good. I've all just right. met you. <laughs> <laughs> what she do? What's she be uh, doing? Clive. 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 Hello. This is what we call the sandbox. This is Carl. Hey, Carl. Hey. This is our beanbag hangout. And it's held space for a lot of really beautiful gatherings, a lot of connecting. Would you like to see inside? What is this? Uh, yeah. 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 This is where we'll be gathering tonight. Who will be? Could be 15 or 20 people. It's called Cuddle Party. Have you heard of Cuddle Party? Uh, cuddle Party. Bang on. I, yeah. I haven't been here long, but I've walked past. Four blokes, Hi, one woman. Yes. How does that work? They are coming. There'll be more women. You want to cuddle any men? Well, I don't want to cuddle strangers, really. <laughs> oh, what's they cuddling? So you and I probably need to go and put our pajamas on. Why have I got to wear pajamas? Because ah. look, I, I am so comfy now. I've got shorts on. They're nice and baggy. I'm getting air to my legs. Well, <laughs> I think I'm going to encourage you to. Push yourself Carl's trying to cuddle with you tonight, Carl. You're gonna be here. It does seem like she's trying to cuddle with Carl. Why is he undressing outside? What's going on? What is he putting on? List. What do you want to do, Carl? Pajamas. 
I'm going to drive down Route 66. All right, then. What are we doing? I put on his onesie. I'm keeping my hat on. I don't want to look too relaxed, because <laughs> then it looks like I am up for anything. But yeah. this is saying... Yeah. A onesie pretty much shows you around for anything. Is there for any sure. part of you that thinks you might learn something from it? <laughs> He's thinking, like, I'm about to cheat on my wife right now. No. <laughs> I don't think it is. He said no. He's not can be that, very but he got healing, Suzanne. and sometimes things that. come up Suzanne we don't expect. That. So uh. that means that if you are cuddling and you become aroused, that's okay. That's a beautiful thing to acknowledge <laughs> to with a partner. You can excuse yourself and have grapes. Again, it's about using your voice, grapes. communicating, <laughs> right? <laughs> we do get questions here about erections, and they do happen from time to time. There's a level of discomfort. In what we're Look at his face. Be comfortable. With that. <laughs> To be able to dialogue, to be able to talk about what to do. Would you like to hug? <laughs> you're, you're not ready to hug me yet? <laughs> <laughs> because so I'm trying to hug you since you got there, Carl. We're fine. Can I hug you? Will you hug me? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can I come play? <laughs> this is weird. Mm, thank you. This cuddle party is weird. Uh oh. I've all, honestly, it's nothing against you. Okay. I haven't hugged uh, Valerie. Yeah, I've enough to. All right then. Just because I didn't want to be pushed into. Well, I didn't know I was coming tonight. It's not like I came and I knew what was going on. I can't hug you now because then Valerie will be going. Hang on a minute. Oh my God! Yeah, no, Valerie you, wouldn't care. She'd be so happy you changed your mind. I would be happy that you said yes to what you want to say yes to, and no, no to what you want to I'm say. I'm telling yes. you, it would bother you inside because you'd be going, "What is oh, going on?" Oh dear uh, one. <laughs> I don't want to hug nobody. I think it is weird. Be, yeah. Right, loving. that's what it's about then. Of course, she's going to say, Yeah, cuddle's good for you. Of course, she's doing the cell job to us. She's not going to go, It's going to all bollocks this, but don't tell anyone. But good honour. I always yeah. think, don't have a go at people for coming up with a business venture. <laughs> but, you know, she went on the Dragon's Den. This wouldn't happen in England. This wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't work. But in America, they love all this shit. I know they had this. They kissing. What's uh, going on here? This is an orgy. You know it. You know it. <laughs> this is an orgy. Hey. What the hell? How would you feel if I scooted up behind you to spoon you? Would that be okay? That's worse than a cuddle. <laughs> that is a <laughs> oh, That's more than a cuddle, that. What if I put my back to you and I face the other way? Well, that's all right, because that's just because we're all... It's crowded. Touching like that, that's just, that's just like being on a tube. But you don't touch people on the tube. You do. In London you do. It's a nightmare in rush hour. Really? You'd uh, love it. Yes. <laughs> All right. That's enough fun for me anyway. You want to go down there? No, I'm gonna, I've got to get going because the traffic's... <laughs> traffic and that. What's about the traffic? It's in the traffic. <laughs> that was uncomfortable uh, for a car. Ah. Yeah. Uh, that was kind of weird, yeah, though. Logic, Carl, man. That was the first steps of an orgy. <laughs> oh, yeah. A couple yeah. more minutes, that would have been butt naked. Yeah. Good old Route 66, man. This is a bit of a uh, tourist attraction. Let's have a look. No else happening, is there? Good old Oklahoma. Good old Oklahoma. Good old What the hell is that? <laughs> this, what Big the hell is that? Hand. The sign says it's, it was an anniversary present. Bloke who built it. Built it for his wife. Odd gift, isn't it? And then the problem is, he did this. What do you get next year? You're just making yourself a bigger problem. <laughs> Susan Away says it's not about the gifts, it's, it's, it's the thought and everything. You, you never go out of your way to get me something, you know, different. She says she's always given me hints, but I don't hear her. Do you know what I mean? She sort of says, oh, I've told you I've wanted this, I've told you I've wanted that. You never listen. And then she gets fed up. <laughs> That's the thing, you see, about America, all that positive thinking and stuff. She has positive thinking. She thinks, right, I've told him I want a new ring or a pair of earrings. He'll get it me. And she has that positive thinking about it. <laughs> but the problem with positive thinking, when it doesn't, doesn't, when it doesn't happen, you get negative. 
<laughs> and most of the time it doesn't happen. So she, she she's pissed off most of the time. <laughs> She wouldn't want this anyway. Yeah. That's a, that's a weird... That's a weird attraction. Carl, uh, just let you know, this part of Route 66 uh, takes you through the old Wild West where the gold rush happened uh, back in the past. And so uh, we've arranged for you to spend some time with a modern-day gold prospector. Oh All right, God. he's going to take you to his mine. And you'll know you'll be you'll be uh, searching for gold, and obviously oh, you know the old rule: find us keepers. So you know, dig well, search well, and uh, good luck to you. All right, bye. Okay, that don't seem too dangerous. <laughs> Looking for gold, be good. Arizona, we'll Suzanne, so she's there. good because she'll be impressed with that present, and it's free, so we're both happy. Is this like oh, a proper trailer park? It's okay. I've heard of these. I mean, I lived in a tiny flat in London. But it was still a bit bigger than that. That is ridiculous. You can wash up whilst you're in bed. <laughs> Do you know what would annoy me with that? Not looking at somebody else. Oh. If someone comes and you don't want to answer the door, they know you're in, don't they? Because there's nowhere to hide there. <laughs> <laughs> These are all right. These are like what we used to stay in in Wales. I, quite, I think I'd be happy with this. Because you just always feel like you're on holiday. It is kind of like the place he had in, uh, in Wales. Joe. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm Carl. I'm Carl. Nice to you? meet you, man. You all right? Nice to meet you. Yeah, how are you doing? Okay. Yeah, just a bit hot. You want to find some gold? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting some for my girlfriend. She always expects a gift when I go. Oh, home. yeah, I bet. Maybe you could find something to take back to her, man. We'll go take my truck and we'll go find some gold back there. All right. I bet we're you're uh, interested in getting into a mine, huh? Oh, How's wow. that sound? That sounds good. Sounds good. The hell? Pretty good pickup, huh? Yeah. Well, you've never been up hills like these, huh? Not driving. Well, this will be an experience for you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Slow down a bit here. Oh. Slow down. Damn. <laughs> Jesus. You like that, huh, Carl? Is it not another way? Oh. <laughs> Like that. Damn, they're gonna crash. It's proper mental. Huh? And that's his commute. <laughs> Every day. This is an uh, example of the explosion oh, that we would get saw this. You know, yeah, okay. to yeah, open up a new it. tunnel. You can uh, try to shoot this target here. Come on up here on the, this little road right here and see how good you can do on this one here, Carl. All right, everybody. <laughs> Will I get a bit further back? Because this seems close to me. No, gonna... you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. <laughs> you sure? Oh, I'm positive. If anything comes towards you, I'll jump in front of it. <laughs> Just take your time and be, be at ease. You're, you're fine. Safe distance. Is it going to be loud? No, nah, not too loud. Fucking, it was loud. <laughs> oh, I thought you were talking about the explosion. No, I meant this. Fucking oh, hell. You want an earplug? Jesus. No, yeah. I just need a... Have you got another one? <laughs> just for a coconut. Ah, uh, a little bit. A few inches too high. Rack too high, that is too high. Fast, aim fast. Come on, Carl. You aim it on it. there and do it. <laughs> breathe, breathe, do it. Fucking Damn. Hell. There you go, Carl. You got it. That's hot. Yeah, that's hot. <laughs> Did you like that, Carl? It's a good feeling, isn't it? Uh, yeah. It's a good stress <laughs> release. They used to play on these all the time. Yeah, so on the fair. You know, we had to hit a dartboard. It's like a bit of paper in the middle and a star on it. They used to always win coconuts. <laughs> I don't know why it was always coconut. No, not at all. It was useless. 
don't know why they always... That's the only time you see them, isn't it? You can't see them in supermarkets and stuff. You need a coconut, you've got to go to the fair. We'll let you light one this time. We ought to stick it in that crack right there and see if we can blow that whole mountain up, huh? Is he serious? Blowing that up? Oh. <laughs> Carl! <laughs> <laughs> Get behind me. How long do you reckon? Oh, any any second now. Say ten seconds. Count down, Carl. Ten, nine, eight. Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, you only got to what? <laughs> to eight, huh? Did you feel the, the compression through the air? Sucks your ears. Yeah, kind of kind of relaxing though, isn't it? To do that? Not really. No. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Is that your idea of fun round here? Uh, it used to be, but I got blown up a while back. Seriously? What? Yeah, seriously. I like the way you tell me that now. <laughs> yeah. Go on back back there, Carl. That way we can find some good pieces of ore. I don't... Is it worth going further down? Well, you don't know till you get there. Never want to work <laughs> in a pit. You just don't want to scream or yell. Just keep watching the pursuit. Where In the cave? Well, now spiders. The oh, spiders. There's spiders anyway. I can't be doing Like it. cave spiders? How big are they? What's that there? There's a bat. He's a cheap bastard. Don't do that. What'd you call me? <laughs> Never felt safe with him. It's like, even if it did all cave in, I reckon he'd be able to get me out. It was like having Desperate down with me. One hand right here. One hand right here. Kind of tilt it down. You want to shake it like this. Weren't looking for gold. Didn't find any. Now you take it so it's, it's not looking good for Suzanne's present. That's what I was relying on, really. <laughs> After something bigger, though. I oh, love yeah. Something like that. Yeah, me too. I, love I like Joe, though. He had his vest on. Size of my ready for action. Three guns, a rifle. We're only having a barbecue. What was your other uh, rest of your trip oh, like? Went to a cuddle party. Couple parties, huh? Cuddle. A cuddle party? Mm. What the hell's that? <laughs> Meet up in a tent and a load of strangers and have a hug. That's a new one on me. <laughs> I hope they were winning. They're both. <laughs> That's been one good thing, actually, about Route 66. It is yeah. a good um, sort of road to listen to music on. Um, we're all a bit depressing, the songs are like, but good stories. Pinball Wizard, I've never understood that one. That's deaf, dumb and blind kid playing pinball. I just always think, did he even know he was playing pinball? He's got no senses there. Deaf, deaf dumb and blind kid sure plays the mean pinball or something. He's no idea what he's doing. If you're deaf, dumb and blind, you have no idea. It's a waste of money uh, sort of putting it in the pinball machine. Could have just given him some buttons to it. He's no idea what he's doing. <laughs> Walk for miles. <laughs> Tree to have a piss at. That's, it's not for me, that, is it? That isn't the next thing Ricky and Steve have got me. <laughs> That's what I wanted. That's what I had in my head. Damn. All right, Roy. Um, you can stop moaning about the little car I got you now. So I've got you something bigger. All right. Always trying to please. If you're happy, I'm happy. All right. See you later. <laughs> wow. You Ronnie? All right, Ronnie. Oh, Fucking thing. <coughs> it's embarrassing. <laughs> Happens every time. Can you turn it off? Neat, Ronnie. Can we get the park attire on this thing? Hard looking bloke. Oh, nice. Yeah, you know, he had nice. tattoos on his legs. For me, that's right when you know someone's hard. Not, not the poncy ones either, not like Latin and all that, or, uh, you know, that sort of Robbie Williams style thing. Just like this? It's not the only way in. Only win! Doesn't use aftershave, smells like WD-40. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! I'm not 
Fucking hell. You wanna, wanna go try this now? No, forget it. No? No. <laughs> you, don't want, you, you don't wanna go for a ride? No, not, huh? not, with, not without a proper seat, Jamie. Jamie, <laughs> there isn't even a proper seat. <laughs> I can't get in this. <laughs> Ronnie! Can you hear me? Ronnie! Ronnie! Stop! Ronnie! Ronnie! Mike! Stop! 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 Ronnie! Right, that's fine. You want to try it again? No, no, you're all right, Ronnie. <laughs> Still, I mean, look at the size of it. And yet it's only room for one man in it. It makes no sense. It's not a monster truck, it's just monster wheel. It's big wheels. And that doesn't add anything to a car. I don't buy a car on the size of the wheels. If it had a monster glove compartment, that's more useful. <laughs> look, at, look at mine compared to that. No seats? You gotta stand up. I thought Route 66 was meant to be about freedom. <coughs> but it isn't. Because it's really restricting. It's one road. And I don't think I like that in life. I think that's why I'm not a big fan of sat navs. Getting lost, that's a good thing in life, I think. Because that's how you find new things. When Columbus was in his boat, I wonder if he was trying to find America. Or if he just got in the boat and went, I'm going out for a Sunday, you know, sail. And he bumped into it and went, bloody hell, look at this I've found. I think my problem with Route 66 is it's already laid out and I'm just on it. It's not my journey, is it? At least he got a new car. Hello, Carl, Steve here. I know you're fascinated by people with different outlooks, different ways of seeing the world. We sort of had a little treat for you, spending some time with an Amish mm -hmm. family. You know, they essentially live life like it's still the uh, 18th century. So uh, it should be interesting to see how you cope without all of the uh, mod gone. Aren't the Amish meant to be like great believers in sharing and all that, not being selfish? So th th this might be a good place to get Susanna a gift for free. <laughs> for free. Kenny. Hello. Hi, I'm Carl. Carl, nice to meet you. Nice to see you. Yeah. How are you doing today? You well? Good, good. How about you? Yeah, not bad. It's just a little bit warm. Yeah, yeah, it's a little warm. Burning my head. And that's my dad, Laverne. Hello, Laverne. How, How are you I'm doing Carl. there? I'm... Now, come on yeah. out, girls. Ooh. You were hoping to go inside, I bet. <laughs> yeah, to get out of this. It's roasting. <laughs> yeah, suntan lotion. What's that? Suntan lotion. A hat? If you've got a hat, I'm happy to wear a hat or lotion, whatever's <laughs> easiest. That's it. That's great. Yeah, that's okay. okay. Yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you want to give us a hand? Yeah, yeah, I'm happy to. You want to remove your shoes? Go barefoot and get a treatment. Go barefoot. Oh, I don't grow anything at home. And you get all your produce from someone else. Yeah. <laughs> get it delivered. Yeah. You just go on the uh, on the computer. Tick boxes. Six eggs, bread, beans. They just deliver it to your house. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> I'd say the kids are the biggest difference. His kids seem a lot different than the kids you see at home. They seem like kids. Uh, kids that age at home, they're pushing the pram with a fag on. Everyone's <laughs> in a rush now, isn't it, at home? Everyone wants to be an adult. And they want to skip being a kid. Is that, I loved being a kid. I loved it. Best years of my life, playing out on my bike. Yeah, they're regular kids. What about relaxing? Do you know, like, a, you see, I, I don't read that much, so it's hard to think, but say, like, a James Bond, say, Doctor No, or something like that, would you ever read something like that, or can't you relate to it? Like a, like a what? James Bond? Like you a... Read a... James Bond? <laughs> Seriously? Seriously, I, I'm not... Uh, <laughs> uh, is it kind of a mystery? Yeah, he's, he's like a British agent. He's a, you know, undercover... 
He solves crime and he's been around for ages. Come on in. Ah, <laughs> uh, seriously. <laughs> A little bit cooler than that. Oh, that's nice to have, though, isn't it? Seriously? Good news, Polly. Hey, you want to take a can with you? Um, I know, I just was thinking about my girlfriend, because she always expects a present when I've been away. Oh, sure. Oh, okay. I'm thinking peas, peas are fine. How about uh, she's not going to like these because she's... She's not that fussy no. with peas. Honestly, they're like garden peas. Yeah, they are, but they're, they're not... They're kind of mushy. She likes mushy they peas. Think... <laughs> okay. Mushy peas. That's the thing we have in England. Mushy peas okay. with fish and chips. That is fine, <laughs> and it's a good size. Is that okay? Sure, that's okay. sure. Yeah, that's okay. Just... <laughs> <laughs> kind of like, yeah. Mushy <laughs> peas. <laughs> You've got to admire them, haven't you? Really happy with the most simplest <laughs> things. I had to sort of, you know, be chuffed about some peas. And I know Suzanne, she probably won't be happy with that. She'll have her face on. <laughs> she knows I was going in a gold mine, didn't she? She'll be thinking she's getting a new necklace when I go home. <laughs> she's not going to be happy. But I'll say, listen, stop your whinging. The Amish don't moan about it. And But whilst you're at it, get in the garden. Sort stuff out. <laughs> get off your arse. That's the thing, eh? They, they do graft hard, don't they? And have you noticed? I've seen a few Amish that get out. Because no, they're all out and about doing stuff. They're out in the open air. They're not eating crap. They're growing their own stuff. I mean, they've got it right. None of them fit. It's just a beard that's daft. <laughs> I don't think I could pull off a beard quite weird. like you, though. What's that? I don't think I could suit a beard. <laughs> Come on, boy. I guess, do they shave this part off or does it not grow? I think moaning's good for you. It makes you feel alive, a good moan, a good rant. So that's why I couldn't live in America. Everyone thinks you should be happy. It's all about living the dream. If you're living the dream, how do you know you're awake or if you're asleep? <laughs> it's exactly the same. That's what I quite like. I quite like having bad dreams. You wake up and you go, oh, thank God for that. If your dreams are better than your life, what is the point? Your dreams <laughs> should never be better than your real life. Uh... <laughs> Unless you're a sloth. Because <laughs> they're there asleep a lot. What? A text from Steve, he says, um, we understand you are getting a little bit bored of driving, so we have arranged a flight for you to see the end of Route 66 from above. I'm not a big fan of flying. He knows that. I've got to meet this bloke called Greg. No, shit. Greg? Okay. Yep. Hey, Greg. You How are you? Old school fighter. Like I'm uh, about to do something I'm not looking forward to. You want to go flying? You see, I've never, I've never been in a plane that's open. That's open? Yeah, I sort well, of you... have that fear of wind hitting against me, not well, being able to breathe. You're not going to get to ride in the seat that much. You're going to ride up on top of the wing. To <laughs> your best view. Oh, my God. This is... <laughs> He's not going to do this. Uh, He's about to do this? Huh. No one seems to care. Huh. He will do this in that bungee jump. Yeah. No need to do this these days. <laughs> There's loads of cheap airlines. You know, the plane's not you get a seat anybody. for a quid. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? So here I am. Standing on a wing. Oh my god. If he gets on that. Grab hold of these. Remember, I'm gonna be high up. You gotta grab hold of these. Pull yourself up. Put your foot. There, well, hang on. So put your foot there. Look how tight it is here. You can't put your foot on that. You can't put your foot on that. It's like playing Twister. There's all these sharp things I keep catching myself on. These nuts and bolts. There's no way in hell. I'm not doing it, Jamie. Forget it. You've seen <laughs> that I've tried. I don't have to do all this. It was Route 66 was the idea of the whole thing. <laughs> but it's always making me look like a knob. <laughs> Who ever got to wear this, really? <coughs> Spider-Man at a funeral. <laughs> I'm not doing it. What do you mean? I told you at the beginning. I said, it's Route 66. We had a chat. You talked about bungee jumping and all that other daft stuff. I said, I don't want to do any of that. I look like a right fucking knobhead. And there's an old... <laughs> it's not even a new plane, Ricky. It's a really old one. We've sat in your office. Don't worry. Are you... 
what, what's your worry? Is it safety? Yeah. It, honestly, <laughs> it's an old... Yeah. But, but Carl, this will look great. This will be a great ending to the, to the show when you're on there on a wing. Oh, just whizzing along. But this is... Do it. <laughs> no, because this is my bucket list. You'll be a hero. No. No. I thought you'd chicken yeah. out. So it's not chickening out. I've got some out. You are, you are. No, it's not it's not chickening out. <laughs> so um I've got some out to range for you. So okay. Well, do that instead then, mate. Alright, then where is it? What 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 It's no scarier than dancing with glee, trust me. <laughs> But it does involve getting on stage again. He's gonna have to And remember, dance. okay, the hell? you've got to do one or the other. If you don't join in and get on stage, you've got to do the wing walk. Where am I? Yeah, this is International Mr. Leather contest, uh, 33rd annual International Mr. Leather in Chicago. Ah! Uh, <laughs> oh, hell no! To get it, I'm, I'm not getting on stage wearing that. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Did you do it? <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Bunch of shit Carl didn't do. Oh man, and that was way more dangerous. That's the most scariest thing of all. <laughs> not not just to fucking ride in the plane, to during the flight get out of your seat, <laughs> climb on the wing, exactly. and ride on top of that motherfucker as it does barrel rolls and and spins and shit. Yeah, man. I gotta give you. I gotta give it to him. Like that was. That was impressive, Carl. I guess if you give him. The option of either that or you got to go up on the stage with some <laughs> gay strippers Dance or something. <laughs> yeah, I might pick the uh, plane too. Ah, <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Okay. Yeah, only Carl, I guess, can make a place that we call home look foreign. You know what I mean? Honestly, that shit looked foreign to me. <laughs> like, I didn't recognize any of that shit. That big ass blue whale. What the fuck? Like, look like it from a different planet. The cuddle party? Uh, yeah. I fucking heard, never heard of a fucking cuddle party. It had to be near Nevada or something, you know. Like, Route 66. <laughs> that is a different world, nigga. That's a different country. I don't know that shit. The gold mining yeah, dude. Man. Yeah, yeah. This nigga blowing up sides <laughs> of mountains. Guns on him, yeah. <laughs> Damn. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, man, Carl, he got, I guess he definitely, uh, you know, it looked like he enjoyed the States for the most part. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> uh, he didn't enjoy the cuddle party. <laughs> no. At all. No, 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 no. Nah, nah, nah. He turned down hard. some advances right there. Oh, yeah, you know? Valerie was trying to cuddle yeah. with him hard. Valerie said, you don't want to give me no hug? <laughs> what if I just 
come up behind you and spoon you. Yeah. <laughs> That's worse than a cuddle. <laughs> that is worse than a cuddle. Oh, I'm about to spoon them. Yeah. <laughs> just for a little bit. How about we just lay back to back? I'm like, come on, Valerie. Like, <laughs> Carl can't be doing that. He got a girlfriend. Suzanne would have gotten his ass if he would have been cuddling with Valerie on national TV. <laughs> oh, man. At a cuddle party. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, the other dudes there. That was gonna and, and, and <laughs> it's a, a couple more four. a couple more minutes, <laughs> like twenty more minutes. Everybody in that room would have been butt naked. Oh yeah, booty naked. Yeah. If you have an erection, y'all can go eat grapes now. Yeah. yeah. What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> there will be no penetration here. Yeah. <laughs> this is the cuddle until house. the lights go out. <laughs> Look out of here. Then you don't Any know what's going on. Any that you find is on limits. You turn the lights yeah. on. Turn the lights on. You cuddling with a nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you cuddling with a man. <laughs> Like, what the hell? Like, I ain't about to be part of this cuddle party in this weird tent (laughs) with these people. Big ass faces on the side of the tent. That was just weird. It looked like a different world, man. Like, I've never, like, Route 66. Yeah, that's, um. Yeah, man, man. Take a trip, man. Take no trip to Route 66. (laughs) (laughs) Like you said, like Carl said, it's just a road with a lot of weird shit on it. 